In this video, I'm gonna be showing you the basic idea of how to take smart notes. I'm gonna be using RemNote, which is a free app that you can find here. And if you can, I highly encourage you to have a second browser open and follow along. It'll just make so much more sense if you have live hands-on experience. All right, let's get started. If you're new to the idea of taking smart notes, then I recommend you first check out this video here for some context. I think everybody should know how to take smart notes. It's the next frontier for how we as humans learn and think. For me, it's definitely boosted my productivity. It's a big reason why I'm able to grow multiple businesses while working full time as a doctor. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how smart notes work at a technical level, but you can find a complete playlist at the end. Let's go ahead and open up RemNote and create a new blank document. And in order to demonstrate, I need to first actually take some notes. Spider-Man, because I'm a nerd. So every note in RemNote is a smart note. These little bullets that you see in front of the note indicates that it's a smart note. If I click on this bullet, it'll take me into that note and see now how the title is the actual note. All right, now let's go back. And then I'm gonna add some more notes below this one. So I can actually make individual pages using the words within each of these sentences. And just by looking at these notes, I might wanna make a page for Spider-Man or a page for Peter Parker or a page for Superhero. So for RemNote, you don't need to create a new blank page every time. It's actually much easier. All you do is highlight a word or a phrase, and then you press open bracket, and then you hit enter. And that's it. I've just made a page for Spider-Man. And if I double click on it, I'll enter into that page. And down here, you'll see that this page is linked back to the note that I just came from. And here is all the information from that prior note. Okay, let's go back and make another page. Let's make a page for superhero. I'll highlight it and press open bracket and enter. And now let's double click on it to jump into that page. So actually I've already referenced the word superhero a couple times before. You can see in August, June, and April. And I can just click on one of these bullet points to jump to that note. So let's take a look at this note here on Iron Man that I made back in April. And it turns out that in this note, I also mentioned Spider-Man. So what I can do is I can make a reference using the Spider-Man on this page, and it'll automatically link to the Spider-Man from our first page. And I can jump back and forth between these notes now that they're linked. But the cool thing about RemNote is that if I look down here, I can also see all the other times I've mentioned Spider-Man in the past. And I totally forgot about some of these notes but this is an easy way that you can discover new relationships between your past and your present thoughts. So you can see that the more I link notes together, the more I'm enriching this page with more information. And that's pretty much the basics of how you can use RemNote to create a network of your knowledge. The other way you can link notes together is using tags. You just type hashtag twice to bring up the tagger, and then you type in whatever page you want to link it to. So using hashtags has the same exact effect as making a reference. So you can click on the tag and jump into that page. But the main difference is that visually, it's neatly tucked away to the side. And this is useful when the word that you want to tag isn't actually in the sentence. So let's take, for example, this note right here. The word Spider-Man isn't written in this note, so I have nothing to highlight and make a reference out of. So instead, I can tag this note with the word Spider-Man instead. And if I click on it, you can see now that I've added this note to the Spider-Man page, further making links and enriching this page. It's gonna take some experimenting and some hands-on for you to really get the hang of it, but it's worth learning, so I'd recommend you take the time to do so. Before we move on to the next section, I just wanted to share one more special feature in RemNote, and that is using emojis. So I've set the keyboard shortcut to the percent sign, just type it in twice, and I'll just type any emoji I want. Um, let's just go with spider to stay on theme here. So the cool thing is that every emoji in RemNote is also its own page. Every time I use the spider emoji, the note will be linked 
to all the other times I've used that emoji. This is a really useful feature as I'll show you later in the video. But for now, these are the basics on how you can make smart notes using RemNote. And in the next section, I'll show you how you can put this all to action. It'll start to make much more sense once you start applying these ideas. So here on the screen, I have three relevant examples that you can follow along with. How I stay productive working remotely, how I write an essay from start to finish, and how I studied in medical school. Whichever one you choose, I'll see you in the next video.